Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Zoeti, a turn-based, card-based roguelike that I'm very excited to be checking out here today. Last played it a bit under two years ago, and I really enjoyed it then in demo form. Said I couldn't wait to see what the game turned into in the future. And it's going to be coming out in a couple days here. We get access a little bit early. Uh, we got a story mode and adventure mode, but uh, Zoeti is a card-based game, but you're using a deck of playing cards, and you're going to be enacting moves using, you know, standard poker hands, etc., etc., so it's not as much a deck builder as it is a turn-based RPG that utilizes a deck of playing cards. So let's go for a story mode, since it's the one we got unlocked. Valentina. In we go. Uh, we got a difficulty, Normal, Hard, Horrific, Nightmare, Inferno. I saw that there was a level on the character. I don't know if in story mode there's maybe, like, progression... So let's just go with normal for now. Long ago, there were two powerful goddesses. One was the virtuous goddess Zoeti, who presided over the motion of the sun, moon, and stars. The other was the evil goddess Nessus, who reigned over demon kind. One fateful day, war broke out between the two goddesses, and in the end, the evil goddess was defeated, her body transformed into scarlet soul stone fragments. These evil fragments fell from the mortal world and attached themselves to creatures that inhabited it changing them into fiends. In moments, the mortal world became a hellish nightmare. Zoeti, grievously wounded, grievously wounded <laughs> in battle with Nessus, converting her remaining strength into 22 rays of light, which she scattered throughout the mortal world. Those who mastered the power of the stars granted by these rays became known as astral envoys. They waged war against the fiends, sealing them with astral energy. However, with the loss of the virtuous goddess, the mortal world gradually lost its piety. The power of the Astral Envoys was derived from the faith, faith in the goddess Zoeti to ensure that the seal on the fiends would continue to hold. One Astral Envoy gathered the astral energy that had been scattered throughout the land and used it to create the four gods. These gods were... Oh, my French. It's very sick. Uh, Betons. Betons. Uh, god of passion and crea creation, brandishing the scepter of fire. Coops. God of inspiration and emotion, holding the holy grail of water. EP. <laughs> this is hell for me. Goddess of wisdom and conflict, wielding the sword of wind. I, and I think this is Denier, goddess of matter and harvest, bearing the coins of earth. I don't think it's, I don't think it's Daenerys. There's no Game of Thrones. Thus was Arcania born, a kingdom of pious in its worship of Zoeti and the four gods. After many astral revolutions in hopes of rising up through the ranks, a young member of Arcania has set out on a sacred pilgrimage to the four origin temples with the help of the guide. Well, we're here. Your first examiner's in that inn up ahead. An adorable griffin with cat ears grabs your hand and points excitedly ahead. Uh, so why aren't we going over? Relax, will ya? An examiner may be an astral envoy, but she's also a normal person like us. She's just super duper powerful is all. Got an interesting personality, but... A good person at heart. She won't do anything weird, probably. Okay, we go. in we go. She grabs your hand and pulls you towards the inn. As soon as you walk in, you see a bewitching griffin with sheep horns sitting in the corner. Surrounding her is a group of people kneeling before her. She glances over and languidly raises her hand. You, kneel. Rebel, commanding someone to kneel in your first meeting is a bit much, don't you think? Fine, then. You kneel instead. If I do, will you give me some fish? Eh, just kneel and you'll fight. What the hell? You, the rest of you may leave. Time to play with this little cat. She meanders lazily up to you and raises your chin with her mag magic staff. Cute one, aren't you? My trial is somewhat frightening. Do you really think you can make it through? She lowers her wand and begins to fade away. Rebel, wait. You're not going to explain the trial? Oh, bother. Do I have to do everything here? You can take care of that. After Rebel disappears into the shadows, a few sheets of paper flutter down and land on the ground. Uh, I don't want to do more work. Rebel, you stinky little horn butt. Excuse? The guy takes a look at you and clears the throat before picking up the papers. Uh, so, yeah, this is clearly, like, more of, you know, the story mode, like it said. There was the other mode that's more of the traditional kind of randomized roguelike run, it looks like. But it was not unlocked yet, so, hey, I promise I'd be playing that. I'm, I'm more into that myself, but, hey, for those who want this story, here we are. Uh, please allow me to explain. If you wish to enter the Origin Temples and receive the baptisms of the four gods, you must complete a few trials. A different astral envoy will serve as the examiner at each temple. That was Miss Rebel, the astral devil, and examiner for the goddess of coins. Here, a little something to help you out. At the start of battle, resentment and strength weakened plus one. So our, our attack gets reduced by one, but after taking damage, gain charge equal to the number of hits. 
x stack number. Hits times stack number. Oh, so I'd have a stack of one. So resentment means if I get hit, my damage goes up. When HP decreases, charge increases based off the number. Okay, so like I get a little bit weaker, but if I take damage, I do more damage back. Interesting. After using a skill for the first time, using skill for the first time, temporary strength plus two each turn. After the first use of a three card or greater skill, deals 10 damage to the nearest enemy every turn. Ooh, I do like the sound of that. But a three card or greater, if we're, if we're going to be using poker hands, that could be tough to find, you know? I feel like Night Gloves seems, like, straightforward enough. Ooh, and we get an item, so this is going to be more like our actual attacks. Deals 8 damage to all enemies twice. I will say if we got, like, something that's going to temporarily increase our strength, multi-hit is very appealing. Uh, takes a three of a kind, though, to do that. But this versus a two pair anyways. Mini flush for that. I think three of a kind. We, we, we can do, see what we can do. Deals six damage five times. So this is our... This is going to be like a bigger power. It's either a straight, a full house, or a straight. Six damage five times and inflict frail for a turn. Fragile and frail for two turns. I'm assuming frail is... Frail reduces their attack. 14 damage thrice. The latter two attacks target random enemies. Uh, I'll go with the, the rain slash here. If you have any questions at all, you can find me at the end. The guide shoves the papers into your hand and pushes you out the door. So just pick whatever trial you're interested in and complete it. Make it quick, okay? May the stars be with you. Bye-bye. I ain't reading that one. All right, mission stage one. Select a path. This path cannot be changed while traveling. Gotcha. Attempting trial, trial of survival. Reward some skills, reward accessory. I'm a little bit more interested in potentially getting an accessory. All right. So do we have a... Uh... Hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll flip through this myself here and I'll explain the basics. I don't think it's that bad. All right, it seems relatively straightforward here. Uh, the one thing being kind of most noteworthy being the fact that it looks kind of like each skill comes with its own... Um, hello? It's, whole, its own set of, like, a deck, potentially? Could be, could be. Let's pop back. Uh, either way, we do have, like, a th we have the three of a kind here. So, if we use a skill, we gain temporary strength. We also have we have the three of a kind, though, so we could do, like, a little bit of a one pair. Increase our armor. Hold on. Yes. Drag them up. Gotcha. All right, and then we have three of a kind. So, did we get the... After using a skill for the first time, gain two temporary strength each turn. Did I get that? That is the question. We have singles. Chop does three damage. Okay, straightforward enough there. You're intending to do five damage to me. Okay. Intends to cast Frail on me, which looks like it is a damage decrease. And we've used up our skill. I guess it has maybe like a limit. Mini flush, I can do that. Oh no, it's because I didn't have it in I don't have it in hand. It's just showing me the things that I do have the ability to cast. So for the singles, we could do this. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, you can um, save your cards in your hands. Hand hand limit energy needed to activate the skill is called the hand. Unused energy is saved. When the number of cards exceeds the limit, the hand value will change to red. So yeah, we can gain we can gain more cards. Theoretically, there's no reason for me to stop here when I could just kill. But for the sake of science, since it looks like you're putting weaken on me and not actually doing damage, I kind of want to see what's up with that. Yeah, okay. So that's how you can sort of more likely gain um, a good old... Whoop pair or triple or something like that. So I will say, after using a skill, 
for the first time. Are these not skills? I guess chop defense level one. I'll drag that. Does that give me a... That does not give me a strength. Straight. Four damage five times. We have two, three, four, five, six. You know what? Whatever. I'll just end you. Straightforward enough with that, but... Uh, tactical Guard. Any of these listed as specifically a skill? Because I was under the impression these were all skills. Gain four armor twice. Temporary defense. What the hell? Temporary defense performance. Armor gain from using skills increased for the turn. So it's kind of just all armor that you gain after this for the turn is up by one. Temporarily draw an extra card. That's a two pair. Gain four armor twice. That seems good. Gain temp strength and draw two cards. Seems really, really good as well. Especially considering we kind of want to do this. This is... Okay, this is a skill. See right there? there the, there's the symbol. That's definitely what we want to go for. I'll go for the person. You discover <laughs> Batten's idol, god of scepters. What do you choose? Get a common item. Offer coins to get common... Cotton... Wait, common Batten's card draw or recovery accessory. How much money do I have? I've, I got, I've got 80... I'll take an accessory since items are attacks. Every 10 attacks with a skill in battle allows you to draw a card. That seems really good. That seems really, really good. Blip. Okay. So you're intending to do 8 damage. You're intending to do 5 times 2. You've got some kind of strength buff for whatever reason. You have Because you have a strength aura. Gotcha. So, 36 damage. God, I wish I had a two pair. So, I think that I maybe need to... I think I might need to focus on defense here. Like, what are the odds? Six damage, five times. And then we could... I could take eight damage, I guess. And this would be doing a good old whopping... You know, we can do the 30. 35, 40... I mean, it's kind of fine. We could take eight, which means we'd actually take six. I mean, what's the other option? The other option would be when we have one pair, we could take... Yeah, we, we have to kill. We have to kill, otherwise it's we're going to actually take more damage anyways. And I can't activate any skills. All right. There we go. So you're just going to be doing five damage to me. So you're actually going to be doing three. I think that's by far the best thing we could do at the moment. Two pair. Do that and get... Uh... Yeah, so we're doing eight damage now. Not bad. This is Yeah, this is legit. Okay. Literally anything kills you. Whoop. Select a skill. Moonbreak Slash. I think that we have, like, you have something limited for every slot. Like, you have a single, a pair, uh, two pair, etc., etc. So, this is for our mini flush slot. This looks like a legendary. I don't know if it is. Deal 10 damage and temporary strength goes up by 2. 2 damage and inflict fragile for 2 turns. Damage taken goes up. So, fragile is damage taken. It's interesting that it's represented as a broken sword, then. I don't know if it is. Maybe it's not. No, that's frail. What? It's so close together. It's fragile and frail. Two very, very close phrases. I'm going to go with uh, the Moonbreaker Slash because it looks like a kind of legendary or something. You arrive at the location of the trial and find Rebel lying lazily on some monster. Oh, you're earlier than I expected. Rebel stretches and sits up. Barely really scratch on you. If the trial's too easy, the Archbishop is going to talk my ear off. Let me cast a little spell on you. Rebel waves her wand, and a cloud of black smoke encircles you. Bibbidi-bobbidi-poo! Now you're more likely to get injured in a fight. I know what you're thinking, but I'm only fair and impartial. She pats the creature below her. This cutie pie is under the same spell, so no more complaints then, eh? So who will survive to the end? I simply can't wait to find out. So there's some kind of a... Take 50% more damage for the next 99 turns. Oof! Okay.
Okay, so we're going to be doing 22. Do we really want to just take all this hit? Well, I mean, we... So we have 12... Wait, we have 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. We could just do... Just do a, a hell of a lot of 12s. 22 for 3. Temp strength 2. I don't think I have to do the math to know that this is going to be better. Also, we technically... I'm going for it. It's just so much damage. And then we're pr getting pretty close to the uh, to the card draw situation. Cast a defense effect when on you or your partner. Uh, I think we just do the same deal. If we can get a three of a kind, that would be lovely, but... Yeah. We just have such a good setup because of our, our relic there. It really rewards us going all in on aggro. Gain seven armor three times and draw two cards. Inflict Fragile and Frail for two turns. Temporary card draw enhancement up by one. Draw two cards. That could be pretty good. It's also another skill, which could buff things up. And it applies Fragile on them. That seems really appealing. We could make them weaken. Acceptable for a novice. Come over here. You walk forward. Rebel suddenly reaches out and pinches your cheek. Don't get cocky. Tomorrow's trial will be much more exciting. Rebel listlessly waves her hand and disappears. All right, quest clear. After the first use of a three-card greater, the skill deals ten damage. After using a skill, a blank skill for the first time, uh, temporary defense performance each turn. When picked up, HP goes up by twenty-five. Grants herb and healing salve. I mean, is this like my max HP or my current? I guess. Looks like it's my current, because it said HP up by 20, which would have put me at max. Seems fine. Rest up or meditate. I mean, if I'm at full health, then I might as well go for the meditate. Skill enhancement. Goes from deal 3 to deal 4. Oh, wait, we can do a single shield? Uh, let's see. It's temp strength up by four. I kind of would have liked more card draw. Nine damage two times. Seven damage five times. Uh, it flicks fragile and frail for two turns. And instantly draw three cards instead of... That works really well for our current setup. We, we would rather have the three cards on the turn... For sure. A bit. Oh, ability enhancement. I didn't even. Wait, what the hell? Defense performance plus two. After winning battle, gain ten health. Card drop one step. I didn't see. Okay, should have checked this first. This is really wow. There's a lot of flexibility. After leaving the room, you see the guide bent over with her hands against the wall. Uh, drank way too much last night. My head hurts, and I want to puke. Drink some water, someone says, as they hand her a cup of water. Thanks. May the stars be with you. The guy drinks all the water in a single gulp, and only then does she realize that it was Rebel who's given her the water. What? I didn't get anything, and I'm still paying the price. I'm dead until you're dead. Relax. Just a cup of water. Won't steal your soul. But you get her bit. Better get to the latrine. Curse you, despicable devil. Thank you for the compliment. The guide rushes off, clutching her stomach. Good morning, little kitty. It looks like today's going to be quite fun. She hands over today's trial, and then smiles as she waves her wand and disappears. Just as you're about to leave, someone grabs a hold of you. Yeah, there's a little something to help you out. Start of the next battle after resting. Hand limit enhancement by one every time. So if we rest... If we rest, then our... Oops, HP up by 20%. That looks like an, uh, a usable, like a consumable. For the second one. The second trial is going to be a lot harder. If you get stuck, remember to head to the shop and buy some goods. You wave goodbye to the teary-eyed guide and take your leave. Accommodation? Wait, what? Wait, can we... Can we... Rest for free? Oh. I thought it was one or the other, like Slay the Spire style. I'm going to say no to the dialogue if I'm going to be real right now. Welcome. Well, yeah, well, hello there. Uh, we got 79 bucks. After the use of a four-card skill, deal six damage to the nearest enemy. Break after four battles. 
When taking damage, you have 25 to the attacker. Break after three activations. So these are all temp things. Inflict gash. At the end of the turn, reduce HP so it's poison, more or less. I'll get a I'll get a weakening poison. Poison potion? What? Healing salve. So where did that end up going? I think I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Select path. Looks like we only got the one. So where is my... Uh, yeah, where's that potion? Either way, it doesn't matter too much. Go for the two pair. Zoop. Another... Okay, so hold on. Now, now here... Now I'm confused here with this. So single does eight. We could do this again. We could make it so they do. So if we just attacked right now, because this gives us three back. Or no, it gives us two back. So it would be, what would be better between 11 four times and eight just a million times? I also think we can switch this single attack out for the other. I think getting you out of here is going to be the best bet for now. Balmy Tattle. Recover your or your partner's HP. Okay. Good deal. At the end of the turn, gain armor equal to the number of enemies times two. Gotcha. So I don't actually have the setup now. So we're apparently going to reach our hand limit. We're not even being attacked. Let's just do that here. See if we can get a big wombo. There we are. 12 damage five times. I mean, is definitely lethal. Definitely lethal. I mean, you're the only one actually attacking me. Absolutely eviscerated. Oops. Dragging it up, it looks like I highlight the other card as well. I think that uh, we seem to be quite rewarded with our current deck, logically, by holding a, an entire turn if I can. Because then we can go for the yeah the full house. Then ideally, yeah, we get the straight, which absolutely destroys. Cool. Bye bye. Offense potion. Uh, one pair, three of a kind. Deal seven damage. Temp strength up one. Randomly attack enemies four times, dealing two damage each time. That could be very appealing. Offense, offense, draw plus one. After using a skill, an attack skill, draw the number of cards consumed and lose one stack of this buff. Oh. So it's not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. I don't think I need to go to the shop right now because I didn't really grab that much. And also, I don't know if I'm too interested in the shop. Okay. Uh, let's stall a bunch there. We'll still, we're only leaving two in our hand, but I kind of need to set up better. Uh, if I do this, I'm not going to have the straight. Very, I'm very likely not going to have the straight. But I kind of need to get some action happening. You have a lot of health. That also ditches my, um, my pairs. So I can't go for the block. A 
attack reduced to 75%, to 75% or by 75%? Big difference. That doesn't give us a draw, so we wouldn't be able to defend ourselves. Pick it up by, by, I mean, fine. I think we do that and then we stall our hand so that we can go for a big explosion. We're only taking two there. It's not that bad. There we are. There we are. Wah -ba -ba -ba. Okay, so you have these stacks for a little bit. Attack reduced to 75%. I'm sure as hell going to assume that... Yeah. Alright. Uh-oh. 27 damage? Really? Well, I'm glad we have these heals, because we're going to sure as hell need them. I, I, yeah. I guess I'm going to wait so that I can hopefully get a kill next turn. But that is an absurd amount of damage. It's probably just best to, like... Do the math. Do, hold on. Do the math. 7, 14... Yeah. No. We have the Fragile and Frail. We have a, we have a couple pairs. We could defend. If we're not going to be killing, we should make sure that we defend ourselves. We have, this does 30, and then 14. At least it's, this, this better kill. Okay, good. We had to slow down for a second there. We were about to bop ourselves. One pair, oh, we can get a, uh, a level up. Single armor up, let's, um, let's bump up our pair. Pair shield there. So we could swap it so that our one pair is this instead if we wanted. At this point, it doesn't make sense. And I think that a, the single makes a lot of sense with our temporary strength angle. Hmm. What's going to be better for us? Randomly attack four times, doing two. I mean, this is quite a bit better, isn't it? I mean, this this performs well with temp strength. Like, quite well, but it's also completely random. That's already level 2. I wish escape would let me go back. Straight. I think I'm good with my layout. The question is just this one. This does the damage... It does 8 to all enemies twice? This does 2 damage 4 times randomly? I don't know. Just the math on that doesn't check out to me. Let's go fight an elite and cry. Oof. The entire team gains evade 2 at the start of each turn. Each time a skill damages a target, inflict them with poison. Equal the number of hits times 2. That seems really problematic. So, yeah. So we're going to be taking... I mean, we get the two block, two block, four block, six block. So that's not too bad. When this character dies, get 50 bucks. I mean, I would like that, obviously. For current turn, each stack can offset damage that is no greater than 10. And these effect can be stacked. Will not be triggered if it can't block the total damage of a single attack. For current turn, each stack can offset damage under 10. The effect can be stacked. Will not be triggered if it can't block the total damage of the single attack. So basically, if you do more than 10 damage, you can you can break through that. 
So like, I would have to, I almost have the moon slash if I want to go for an aggro, but I think this is fine. It's fine enough. It's, it's more just, it has to be good enough. Okay. Get the full house. I think that works. So we're doing seven there. We have a three of a kind. I can't do my two pair and my three of a kind. Do I have a different mini flush? I don't have a mini flush that doesn't use my three of a kind. But this is legit, obviously. Did it really do 15 to all enemies? It's doing 15, unless I'm not understanding the dodge. Okay. Offset damage that's no greater than 10. An effect can be stacked. This effect will not be triggered if it can't block the total damage. It should not be able to block the total damage. Oh, no, because it's evade 4. When you're saying it's stacked, when you're saying it can stack, it stacks up to 40 there. I understand. That that makes that checks out as making sense, but also ow. Alright. Do I go for the uh the 14 here? I don't think I do. I think I try and wait and do the same thing. Ow, ow. We have the heal. The guy ran away, that's okay. Temp strength. So you have two, you can block. Basically, you can block 20. Chop is not going to be logical here. Temp strength up by three. Draw two cards. We don't... We would we would not be guaranteed to get a pair. We could potentially be taking, like, a lot of poison here, which I don't want to do. I'm going to put on the eight. That's, that's more than enough. Okay. Oh, we're good anyway. We're good anyway. Could have probably kept the pair. Four times four. Three of a kind is not really the way to go here. We hold. We're going to take a bit of damage. But now we should be good to go. Fifteen damage all times. Two pair was the temp strength. We could also just do this, and then our single is twelve damage. We could. This should work. Like it's gonna get rid of that block, and then we just chop away. We have our potion still if we need them. Straight does just does thirty nine damage. Uh, tactical guard up. Two pair deals six damage two times. Six damage two times and draw a card is really appealing. Two pair on guard. On guard. Gain four armor twice. I actually do kind of like this a lot. It's a two pair, but what's our current two pair? The current two pair is attack stance, which I really like. I'll take it because it's like a level 2 or something I don't know I'm kind of neutral on it though okay we have 16 can we upgrade further yeah you can you can get to level 3 fragile and frail for 3 turns instead Three of your kind does damage five times. Nine damage. To, I don't really care about that upgrade. Four armor. Wait, that's a nuts difference. 
four armor three times instead of two times, that may make it worth taking. Alternatively, we could just, like, make sure our armor is blocking a lot more. I think that that's probably the best call for us. And it's 15 for a full passive, so let's, let's save our money. Like, just being able to block quite a bit more. Gonna be quite nice. Which one of you cutie pies is gonna survive? Rebel is resting on a tree. She casually throws a blob of ooze into the lake, causing the fish to flounder about momentarily. Looks at you and smiles seductively. Hey, Kitty, are you better at offense or defense? Uh, I mean, I am better at offense. Is that gonna matter? Should I lie? You're gonna attack me, which means your defense is lacking? She, she lifts her hands. A clump of ooze leaps out from the lake, wrapping itself around her hand. It's a slop of living slime. This cute pilot used to live in volcanoes, terribly afraid of water, but under my guidance, it overcame its weakness and has become one of my favorite little pets. Lightly taps the slime with her wand and flings it to the ground. Only by overcoming our weaknesses can we grow. I've made it an expert attacker. Do your best to def defend and overcome your own weakness. Okay. Fair enough. Keep 60% of armor at the start of the turn. Can't cast a defensive. I don't know what crystal artillery means. Fifteen damage twice. It is better. This does help us get card draw more effectively, though. Got eight damage. Um, we could just do a pair and then and then hold. <laughs> or we could just hold the whole thing. I thought that was locking it in for some reason. Pretty dumb, pretty dumb. Wait. We can inflict it for even longer. We draw three cards, so we're just missing two out of it. I'm down to do that. Because, yeah, look at this. Oh my god, 12 damage five times. And inflict frail for a turn. But how much is this up to? That's up to seven. 15 all damage twice. This is going to be the way to go. If you're an expert attacker, you are going to be... Yeah, just don't, don't just hit end turn at the start of the turn. Pro tip when you play Zo Zoeti. Okay. So why did I take a, a hit there? I wish I knew what crystal artillery was. I guess it's a status effect. Nineteen all twice. We just do twelve damage just like a lot of times. Netting us some card draw as well. I don't mind that. I'm gonna also just do this because I think we're probably nearing the end of this. So let's check out what this is. There it is. At the start of the next turn, deal three damage to the enemy 12 times. Oh, God. Th that visual effect was not very uh, noticeable. Three damage to the enemy 12 times. It's not great. Gotcha. Intends to do... Cast poison on me. I don't have the ability to remove poison. A straight is appealing. 12 damage five times is going to beat the hell out of this. And we also get another frail. And we win. 
That was spooky for a little bit, especially because I just like did a full on just I just gave him a free turn <laughs> and I said, eh, whatever. And eh, you can you can have this one. Uh one pair. Oh, this is a different card. Uh full house, 32 damage, inflicts frail for two turns, 13 damage, temporary strength up to. I'll just I'll get an upgrade instead. Oh no, couldn't you see how much slimy poo means to me? How could you just up and kill it? To make it up to me, you can take its place. I've always wanted a little kitty of my own. Approaches slowly and tucks her hair behind your... Wait, your hair behind your ear. Congratulations on passing the trial. She puts her hair behind your ear. She smiles as she waves her wand, gradually fading away. All right. After using the item, deals 20 damage to the... F using the item... 20 damage to the farthest enemy. If you have an empty item slot at the end of the turn, equips a random item. Oh. Feels like maybe these two phrases should be completely swapped. If you have an empty item slot at the end of the turn, equips a random item, and if you use that item, do 20 damage. That's pretty cool. After suffering an attack, allows you to draw cards equal to the number of attacks suffered. If no attack skills are used during the current turn, at the end of the turn... Hand limit enhancement and card draw enhancement. This seems so good for our setup. Just like, technically just stand there for one turn, stall, heal, or like block, and then the next turn go absolutely wild. Okay, let's check out the ability enhancement. Card draw up, starting hand up. Strength up by two is pretty good. Converts every stack of temp strength into two armor at the end of the turn. Is really appealing for the deck we have. Like, it's really appealing for the deck we have. That's such a good pickup. This is this is very, very, very neat. Uh, it's come a long way since I last played. Uh, but, yeah. let's. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and probably call it here for now on Zoetsy, but I would not be opposed to playing more of this, for sure. Uh, I especially would really like to see the more roguelike style mode that has just the randomization uh, and doesn't have, you know, doesn't probably doesn't have as much of the story elements, which, you know, it's not that they're bad or anything, they're just not necessarily my style, uh, but they're they're done well and the, the art's nice, and I just really, I think that the mechanics are very, very solid and the customization allowed in the combat is really nice. I think that there's some, like, uh, attack feedback that is lacking a little bit, and, like, the status effect feedback, it's not that it's bad, it's just kind of, like, I don't know, it's it's tiny, and, I don't know, it's, like, subdued. It's very subdued, the effects of, like, the enemy's actual danger level, for whatever reason, in, in a way that's kind of hard to express. But that was something I definitely remember being an issue two years ago as well, is, is that minor thing. But all the other things that I remember being issues are just not issues at all right now. Um... And I think it's really, really good. I, did I play amazing today? No, absolutely not. But I, I had a lot of fun combining weird stuff together. I, I think that there's a lot of promise here. And I'm very curious to see what else there is in the game. I know there's obviously different characters, different play styles, different abilities that we haven't played yet. Uh, but I think it's super cool. I, I recommend checking it out when it comes out in a couple days here. There's a link in the top description. You want to check it out for yourself then. Make sure to tune back in for that uh, on the Steam page. But my name is Rashomation, covering indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.